Welcome to the tutorial of the GTO Trainer. At the bottom of your screen you will find the action buttons. The right answer is always the highest frequency play. If you would like to skip the current hand, you can click on new hand and you will get dealt a new hand. If you would like to end your session, you can of course hit that button as well. On the left side of your screen you will find the hand history panel. Here you can view all the hands that you've played and even view the strategy of that certain spot. If you would like, you can even click on repeat to repeat a certain spot. Then the next feature that we have is called padlock. You can click on the padlock icon next to a player to lock training to that specific spot. This only works so in live play or training overall skill. It is disabled when training pre-flop or post-flop key skills as the positions are fixed. If you like, you can click on my session to get an overview of your current session. This shows the total hands played, the highest streak and the breakdown of accuracy error types and post up if he lost for the session. If you like, you can also create your own drill, a specific spot that you would like to train. You can do this by navigating by using the buttons below and setting up the spot exactly the way you like it. So right now we are navigating through the spot and setting it up the way we like it. And then once we are done, we can click on start drill and we can train that exact spot that we just created. If you would like to exit the drill, you can click on new hand and the normal session will resume. We've also added a hand filter. With this filter, you can choose a specific range using the slider or range grid or select deal playable hands only to not be dealt the obvious faults such as 7 deuce offsuit. With the slider, you can select the range that you would like to play. Once saved, you will get only hands within the range that you just selected. But there are more options to customize your studying such as lock hand. By enabling this feature, you will get dealt the same hand over and over and over. So for example here with the king queen suited where we're supposed to raise and we're facing a 3 bet and a 4 bet and we fold, we will get dealt the same hand in the same spot again because we have this feature enabled. But you can also lock the board. Locking the board means that you will get dealt the same board over and over and over again and this is a great way to practice the same board but with different holdings. The last locking feature, lock node, allows you to drill a specific decision point without progressing through the hand. If you want to guarantee yourself flop play and onwards, we actually recommend you to click on the post flop key skills bets on the left side of the screen or go into the hand history panel and click on repeat on the post flop node earlier in the session. And then we also have timer mode for the people that want to train their decision making under pressure. By default this is turned off but if you turn it on you have 10 seconds to make your decision. If you're too late your hand will be timed out. And then on the left side of the screen we've got the gem of the trainer which is the progress panel. We already mentioned it briefly but in the progress panel you can train specific spots by one click of a button. And each spot comes with bets that you can collect. You have the overall skill bets which is the default of the trainer where you get a wide variety of spots but you also have more specific bets such as blind defense but also post flop bets. And if you are training a post flop spot but you want to change the turn or the river run out you can actually do so by clicking on the turn or river and selecting the card that you would like to change it to. So in this example we want to change the queen to the five of diamonds and we can do so by clicking on it and then we can train the exact same spot but with the different run out. Try it all out now for yourself for free at rainsconverter.com.